Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today in this video I'm gonna show you guys a trick that will help you max out your city alignment. So how does this exactly work? Well, as you can see, I have assigned two regions to Survivor's faction and one to the Peacekeeper faction. So what I'm gonna do now is look for an online session. So I'll go to the online menu and I would click on find games and I will select on city alignment. So what you need to do is find a session that has the highest city alignment score. So I recommend you choose a lobby that has the highest level. I'm talking about the points that you see here, one for the peacekeeper and the survivors. The ones that's the highest is the best one. Now once you found it, click on it and join their game. Once you're in the game, you can open the map and see the number of regions they have assigned to the different factions. And after that, just simply drop out. And boom, you just got few extra regions assigned to survivors and peacekeepers. So I started with two regions to survivors and ended up with four regions. And what's crazy is that if I find a lobby that has like seven or more regions assigned, then I can easily max out my city alignment. So the guy who found this trick, his name is Adam Hard Gaming, and his video link will be in the description. So do show him support for finding this trick. But here's the thing. Basically, in his video, he does the same thing, but he was lucky to find a lobby with a really high city alignment. Well, that thing maxed out everything for him. So he had every peacekeeper reward as well as every survivor's reward. By the way, after doing this trick, it's recommended not to join someone with a low city alignment score because it will reset your numbers. Anyways, by keep doing this trick, I was able to go from two regions to maxing out my survival level. And for peacekeepers, I started with one but ended up with four regions. And that's pretty crazy. And I could easily max this one too, but I was just making a video so I didn't really bother finding another lobby because joining a lobby successfully is way more difficult. Anyways guys, that's it for the video. If you guys are confused, then let me know in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed the video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Dying Light 2 videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, stay safe and stay human.